Hey horse lovers, guess where we're going? By popular demand, I am going to a horse auction today and I cannot wait to take you with me and show you the different kinds of horses that I see. As you can see, I did not bring the trailer. There's nothing behind us, we're in our car. So I am not planning on buying. I'm full right now. I mean, you never know. It's not that far from my house, but yeah. Okay, really hope you enjoy. We'll be there soon. Today I am at Jones Livestock Auction in Wauseon, Ohio, and I'm gonna walk through and show you all of the horses that I see and talk about them a little bit. This paint was super sweet, a little bit underweight. You can see the ribs and then you can see the hips protruding as well. Then I saw this absolutely gorgeous Grula horse, stunning. I'm going to go in the stall and take a closer look. Again, you want to be really careful when you're around these horses. You don't know where they came from, what their experiences are. So you always want to be conscientious of their behaviors. And if they're telling you that they don't want to be messed with, you should respect that. So as you can see here, I'm just looking at the overall body and confirmation. Then I want to look at the teeth. Uh, I didn't know if I just kind of startled the horse. So I'm going to try again. And the horse is not wanting me to, so I'm going to respect that. I saw this really cute Palomino. So many beautiful horses. I do love going to auctions just because I like seeing the horses, even though sometimes it can be hard. There were a ton of buckskins at this auction today. So we're gonna take a look at all of them. This horse was indeed very pretty, but the overall confirmation I wasn't a fan of. The horse had a little bit of a hunter's bump. The hips were protruding. I just wasn't an overall fan of the muscling and the condition. Like now, I'm not trying to pick apart these horses and be negative. I'm making these videos to educate you and let you know what I'm looking at and what I see. It doesn't mean they're not good horses. It doesn't mean they're not always not sound horses and that they couldn't be amazing horses with a lot of potential, but you wanna look at what you see for face value at auction. So that's what I'm doing here, just so you understand. Another gorgeous buckskin. I really did like this one. Really nice confirmation. Seems to have a wonderful demeanor. So I'm just feeling the legs to see if there's any heat or lumps or bumps. <laughs> the horse is definitely friendly and wanting affection. So that's a great sign as well. There are a lot of things you want to look at. Eyes, ears, nose, teeth, confirmation, muscling, heat, swelling. Nice this horse count. could use a little more muscle conditioning, but I think with that, it would be absolutely fantastic. I don't need another horse. I don't need another horse. I don't need another horse. This little bay with the star seemed really sweet and quiet. Overall, looked like just a nice little kind horse. Really, really sweet. Then I saw this gray horse. I really liked the build and the broadness of this horse. Really pretty. Now, there were a couple scratches and things like that, but again, grays can mark pretty easy, especially if they're like out in a pasture with a herd, like that's normal but I really did like the build. And of course I saw the Appy butts and I am a sucker and huge fan of Appaloosas. This Appaloosa had a scar on the right shoulder. I don't know if it impeded any movement I didn't see. Overall confirmation is average. A um, Little bit of dip in the back, but nothing crazy. The horse also had some hair missing on the tail, so that could be from worms and itching and rubbing, or it could be a skin infection, or it could just be the horse just rubbed the tail off. So something to take note of. Okay, I was obsessed with this mare's nose. It was so big and squishy. Her muzzle is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Absolutely love her coloring. Again, I am a huge color snob and a sucker for flash. She is super pretty. Uh, she's a gated mare. I really did like her. She did have a little more, you know, swoop in the back, a little sway as you can see there. Then I saw the most beautiful horse. Oh my goodness. When I bought him, they used such a stud chain on him. This was yeah, completely kind of, white. Wow. And it all comes back. back yeah. Oh, I was praying it did. That mane is gorgeous. But he'll do anything. I mean, this thing is the real deal. If you want to see him road, we can get someone riding for you. 
I can show awesome. them the, I, I got the video right here if they want to see him ride. Well, they show them the video, but then show them they want to see him rope too. I mean, he is so much fun. When he goes into a lope, he jumps into it. I mean, he's, is he hot or is he more quiet? Oh, no, no. Oh, no, he's more well than go. If you don't have spurs on, you can't. Is he spooky? More oh, no, 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 no. Here, you're going to want to see this video. I got like yeah. 12 minutes of trail riding. Okay. A lot of super cute horses here today. Did you see the Frisian cross? I do not need another horse, but he is gorgeous. So we're going to see him under saddle, see what he does. That's that though. So this horse is a Frisian cross. He's 75% Frisian, 25% quarter horse. He was a stud and they gelded him a little while ago. He seems very sweet and kind. So we're going to go to the arena and see how he moves. So that's going to be really important to see how he acts in the arena, what his movement is like at Walk Trot Canter in both directions. And then we're going to go from there. So I really like him. Apparently his story was he did a little bit of ranch work and then he was an Amish horse and pulled a buggy so he does drive as well. So let's check him out and see how he is. So right away I'm noticing a little bit of lagging and dragging in the hind end. Again, this can just be the need for training and some good chiropractic work. Um, the horse might need to figure out how to be more balanced. And Frisian sometimes can be a little bit weaker in the hips. So I'm trying to look at that and determine exactly what's going on and if it's just something really serious or not. And it's hard to tell, like you don't have a long time to make a decision on these horses. You really just have to take it at face value and what you see. I really like how quiet and calm he is and he seems very willing, but there's also extreme risks that go with these horses and they're not cheap usually. He seems quiet. He's really quiet. Me being me, I'm obsessed with his mane and tail. It's so long and thick and beautiful. So of course that just catches my eye. The other horses out here are super pretty as well. Really quiet little chestnut and that roan looks really nice as well. There's that gated mare. She's yeah, cute. He's cool. Yeah, he's so <laughs> sweet and silly. I love him so much. Oh. He also has a brand on him, so I wanted to point that out as well. All right, I'm gonna do something I would normally never ever do, but I am gonna ride him because I'm actually very serious about him and I wanna get on and see how he feels. Do not ever ride auction horses that you do not know. Please do not do that. I'm doing this and I know the risks that are associated with it. Obviously, I saw that he looked pretty calm and quiet, but you just never know once you're on their back. So please do not do this. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and feel and test him out because I just truly wanna see before I really, really decide if I want to bid on him and commit to it. So right now, right off the bat, um, my stirrups are way too long. They literally are about the length of my leg. And he is, I don't wanna say resistant because that's not the right word, but he does not wanna move forward. And I don't wanna say lazy either. So he just is not forward at all. The guy riding him prior to me had spurs on. I don't have stirrups and he has that Frisian trot, so ignore me. But yeah, it's really hard because he doesn't really want to move forward and then I don't have stirrups to post properly. But anyways, he seems really quiet and I really like that about him. I instantly felt comfortable on him. He feels really sweet and confident, so I really liked that about him. 
but the moving forward it could be because his hind end is affecting him or it could be lack of training or truly it's just his personality and he just needs more time and he needs to get more fit it could be various things i want to hear what you think of his movement and his hind end again this horse is absolutely gorgeous and we are not picking him apart he's beautiful he's kind he's a magnificent animal he's absolutely worth it I am just trying to point out what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling, and I'm just curious on what your thoughts are. It's hard when I don't have my stirrups. I asked him if he could get on him one more time and just move him around in both directions so I could look a little more closely at his movement. This is really tough for me, so we'll see. All right, we're gonna go around and look at some other horses. There's this really pretty draft horse, probably an Amish workhorse from what I was told. There was this mini pony and this young filly as well. They are absolutely darling and precious. Oh. <laughs> Aren't you adorable? I really, really wish I could take them all home. Seriously, like I want to cry. They're all so precious and sweet and they deserve the best. Horses are so amazing. I know. Hi, sweetheart. Hello, honey. Hi. Hi, honey. This horse and the other paint horse that I just showed you, they're a little bit underweight. Uh, I think they could definitely come around, but you can see a little bit of rib and the hooves are a little long as well. Definitely needs to be trimmed and a little more maintenance that way. Uh, this is the paint I was telling you about. Really gorgeous though. I mean, beautiful and so kind and really, really nice. This mare just had her full pulled off of her, so I'll show you. She still has milk and everything. I think she's a little bit in distress wanting her full. There's milk coming off of them. This roan is really pretty. Love the color, seems very friendly and affectionate. Again, could use a little bit of weight and muscling, but that could be pretty simple. Just all depends. Or it might be they need worming and all of that. You never know. <laughs> He's sleepy. Hello. I like the socks on you. Kyle and I really liked how square this horse was standing, so that's something to take note of too, their posture. The auction is going to start soon, so I'm doing my last look over on him before he goes into the ring and the auction starts. I'm so nervous, but I'm checking all of his legs for heat, lumps, and bumps. And yeah, it's yeah, really crunch time, and I, I really have to figure out what I'm going to do. This is so hard, and being at auctions it just puts you in such a tough situation because you have to make that decision otherwise you lose the opportunity so i'm trying to figure it out okay so he is absolutely gorgeous i'm a little concerned about his hind end and frisians just can be a little weaker in the hind end i'm not sure if he just needs more training you know or if he has an injury or something going on 
this is really tough. He's super gorgeous and I liked how calm and quiet he was and I think he could be a really awesome horse and he's beautiful. So I'm really on the fence on what to do. Ah, uh, why, why? Plus I don't need another horse. Not trying to buy, I didn't bring the trailer. This is my friend Sydney. I met her today, so she's one of my fans and I'm excited that she gets to be in the video too. And her birthday's tomorrow. You excited? Yeah. Do you love free spirit equestrian? No. Good. <laughs> okay, the auction is starting and I'm gonna show you all the prices of what the horses went for. Going down to number 238. Why? He's so cute. Okay. Now Okay, we got a seven year old mini yelling You betcha, good, quiet, yelling for only 4,000, Tony Tuna had it them. You betcha, he's been exposed to cattle already, go, 4,000, Tony Tuna had it. 4,000, Tony Tuna had it, 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 4,000, Tony Tu
Cody from the five thousand, that Rocky from the five, the deep under the five thousand, 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 the deep under the five